bury themselves, it's basically good for your back if you've got a back problem. The first time I saw someone do that, I thought, oh, he's burying himself, actually burying, burying himself. Does that help the back? Good. Right, so we'll walk up here. It's the first time, as I say, the first time I saw there's an old guy. Well, I'm an old guy, but I saw him digging his own grave and I sort of watched and said, Oh, don't do that. He said, No, I'm going to bury myself except for my head because it helps the back. So, well, if it does, it does. It's good. See how friendly the people are here. They are so friendly. I mean, <laughs> you know, European beasts, they say, bother off what you're doing filming. They don't care. In fact, what I do, if I take photographs of people, I like candid photographs, not posed ones. Then I'll say to them, would you like a copy of this picture I've just taken? And they, if they say yes, get the email address and I send them a copy in the evening once I've uh, started processing my day's catch which can be 80, 100, 110 photos that's the beauty of a digital camera you can just erase it so I'm going to walk back and then I'm going to switch you off and change batteries and then put you in the, on the tripod because I can feel a swim coming on the, the locals have put these bamboo uh, speed bumps themselves because they've asked the council to put speed bumps in and all sorts of, they're just ignored. So here we are, going through the slope, someone's burning uh, dry leaves and stuff. I'm big bird! If you look out down the road, you can see the traffic flashing past. That's the South Midgolf Highway. My big tag, which means good morning. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the sun's come up. <laughs> Chundering away here. So we'll go back. There you go. You can actually see the sunrise, and luckily it is not obscured by cloud today. It's just beautiful here. The people are beautiful. Okay, they've got they're different the cultures. Different. They drive like maniacs on their scooters and stuff. But it, this is their place, their house, their rules, and you have to accept that. A lot of foreigners don't. A lot of foreigners don't mix with the locals. As uh, one rather obje objectionable Englishman said, "Yeah, they're all thieves, they're all liars, liars, and you can't, you can fuck them, but don't talk to them." And I said, "What the hell are you doing here, man? But you've been here 13 years. <laughs> well, must be a massacre." Here we are. So I'm going to take you back. Open 7am, close at 6. Well, <laughs> and then the night shift and the head of world take over. Uh, there we go. So, I hope that was interesting. I'll just babble away. Here we go. There you are. That's why I come down here every day. Well, I just But it's so beautiful. It's paradise to me. I love the people. I have one foreigner friend because I've given up on the foreigners. I don't like their attitude of superiority. I said to one American, you do realise this is not uh, a colony of the United States. This fact hasn't been since 1960. <coughs> you know. And a lot of these dirty old men come down here to catch young women. And you can't blame the young women because uh, many of them have come from poor comps 
uh, families and maybe they've got a, a relative who's ill or whatever um, so they do what they can to help I'm going to switch you off briefly so I can change batteries so please bear with this <laughs> 